Hello Tigers Roar News, I am Angela Saxon standing outside of Hill Hall where just two days ago on January 25th, Tuesday, the Savannah State University band students were protesting about the false scholarship money that was being offered to them. In a sit-down interview I had with the sousaphone section leader Ashley Dawkins, she mentioned the true reason why the band was no longer going to stay silent. It was something to, that needed to be done. Um, a lot of members of the band program who were even here before I was here um, have been feeling the same way, the, the unjust, the feeling of not caring or the feeling of just wanting to be treated fair. No way! Silent Tigers, we won't play! Band frustrations have grown because they have not allegedly received scholarships they were promised. It is also said that band students were unable to sign up for classes, acquire meal plans, and potentially lose their housing. Dr. Carl Walton, Vice President of Student Affairs, spoke to the students after the march about setting up a meeting, but the band students would have rather talked to President Dozier. Well, it's not more so of what Dr. Walton can say. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to hear more of what President Dozier has mm -hmm. to say. Um, people like President Dozier and Mr. Jolly, who is the Vice President of Fiscal Affairs, and um, people like Dr. Silberg, who is over the Fine Arts Department, I'm more intrigued to hear what they have to say as far as changing the system from ADP to scholarship. According to a memo sent out by Loretta Hayward, Assistant Vice President of Marketing and Communications, a band student may sign up to two documents. First, the Band Assistantship Award Work Allocation, which stipulates the amount the student will receive for a semester to participate in Savannah State University band program slash activities. Two, Student Employment Contract and Certification slash Office of Human Resources. This document reflects the employment start slash end dates. The agreement specifies students may work up to 19 hours per week. Students receive a copy of both documents, but neither references a lump sum payment or allocation. Ultimately, Dawkins wants the band to be awarded for their talents. Just like in football, uh, if I'm granted this amount for my talent, just apply it to my account so I can pay for my schooling, and then I won't have the work have to worry about what's happening with my school or owing the school a balance. Because essentially, the scholarship is there to cover the remaining balance that a lot of our students are complaining about. And this is Angela Saxon reporting with Tigers Roar News.